everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. We're gonna talk about why is this truck so amazing? Why is it so amazing? First off, it's a 67, right? It's a change in the truck. It's the small rear window. It's the most desirable of the classic pickups. And we have one here today, not to mention it's a full pro touring model as well with all kinds of great stuff inside here that will make you feel like you're driving almost like a brand new truck, but with style that no new truck can give you. All right, so listen, this truck just came in. I don't even have the sticker for it. I just wanted to carry around some paper because it's my comfort blanket, right? So I'm just winging it today from what I know. I'm not reading anything, but I'm gonna try to figure it out and show you some detail stuff. But what I do know is how to build these things and I love doing this part. For instance, see how this looks much bigger than the front tires and wheels there? They're actually the same size wheel. The illusion is done by adding a taller tire here and a shorter tire there. However, having said that, because this truck is so beautifully done and custom already, you could actually add a couple small things if you wanted to. Maybe you don't like a lower profile tire in the front, we could easily fix that in there. Maybe you'd rather have the brake calipers painted uh, this color here, or gloss black here, or the cinnamon stripe. Maybe you'd like those done in red and they would be floating inside the wheel as it drove along. That would be pretty cool. Little things. Again, you don't even have to do anything if you don't want to, right? And so, uh, because we have incredible paint on the truck, and we'll talk about that in just a second, uh, I wanted to talk about just things like the details of the grill and the fact that the bumper is pulled in a little bit closer and these special he he LED headlights there, all new glass, all new trim, all new stainless, all new polished this, all new, all new, all new. When you build a truck like this, it can cost up to $100,000 to do them. This is why this is the way to buy a truck. This has very few miles on it. It has a stack of receipts like this. It was done by a professional who does it for a living. That's what they do. And this now is ready for you to enjoy. All right, so this truck, the paint is really spectacular. We are talking about tuxedo black mirror finish. Well, what does mirror finish mean? Well, I'll show you what mirror finish means. Separated by a cinnamon stripe, okay? Sahara beige metallic in here. It is gorgeous together. It's elegant, but it's powerful, and it's so good looking, the combination, right? But this is what I want to show you. Remember, I told you that this truck just came in, and I don't even have the sticker for it yet, but I wanted to do this for you so you could see it. It just arrived. The paint is spectacular. You can read every letter crisp in there like it is a mirror. And that's what I mean by a mirror finish. It has to be crystal clear and sharp like the best TV you can buy to be great paint. If it's not like that, that means the paint is not as good as you're hoping it will be. All right, whether you want to open the hood at a car show or you're never going to take it to a car show, you just want to enjoy driving to work or something like that, the detail of what you're getting, a lot of it is wrapped up in here and I want to show you what I mean by that, okay? First off, all these fasteners in here are stainless fasteners. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about a stainless bowl versus a painted bowl? Well, I'll tell you what the big deal is, and the big deal is this, is that these vehicles here over time, okay, over time, those things will start to rust. The detail is I spent extra time getting a cadmium plated power brake booster, the stainless fasteners. I had this custom painted to here so that it will last and look great over time. The back of the firewall is way nicer looking than it would have been the factory circa 1967. And this engine cover, like I said, is beautiful. However, I'm not sure I love this piece. I don't know if it bothers you. For me, it bothers me just a little bit. I suggest we put a cone filter cell there because the mass airflow sensor is right here. Get rid of all of that stuff, right? And it might look really, really nice there. And, uh, but we don't have to do anything. We could leave it just as is. I just throw those things out there, letting you know that you can do some things that are out there, but we do have uh, just a beautiful power steering, power disc brake, uh, air conditioned, uh, LS Vortec power in here that's fuel injecting, you hit the key, it doesn't matter whether it's five degrees outside or 105 degrees outside. Your significant other will ride in the car with you because they won't smell like gasoline from a carburetor. You could go to dinner in this truck. Imagine going to dinner in this truck and pulling up uh, somewhere. They're definitely gonna put this truck out front, push the Porsche around to the side because everybody's gonna walk out and go, wow, look at that truck, man. That thing is beautiful. All right, so some of the things that make trucks or any pro touring vehicle worth more than others is detail stuff. Detail stuff takes a long time. For instance, to do the bed of this truck probably took at least a month to two months just for the bed. Tone, how gonna take two months to do for a bed? Well, let me just tell you, first off, this is all custom made, custom rolled. Look at this, it's the most beautiful tailgate that you'll see. Definitely not stock. This beautifully painted, the same colors, reverse like it is on the front of the truck, okay? And then these chains go on so like so. And then you're back to having an original style tailgate. 
wood bed gas tank. A lot of people forget to ask this. The gas tank's been relocated. What? It's been relocated? Yeah, they were inside the vehicle at the time, right? They used to be inside the cab. That's where they used to have uh, the gas filler there. They've removed that. They've moved the gas back here, this beautiful pop-up gas cap with a full wood bed, stainless trim, this awesome tailgate. I'm afraid to even sit on it, it's so nice, but I want you to sit on it. Matter of fact, what I might suggest too is you ask uh, the team here to put a piece of clear bra on here so that you can sit on it, you can use it if you want to and you never have to worry about scratching it, but the back of the truck is spectacular. All right, so you're walking up to your stallion, your beautiful pickup, swinging your key, and some guys or some woman's looking at you, and why do you have that remote, that brand new remote in your hand, walking up to your old school truck, and you hit the button, boom, and it hits the power locks, unlocks the doors, and you roll on in here, okay? You roll on in here, and then you show off this. Boom, you hit this, gives you the start, stop button right here. Check that out, huh? You start the truck using that right there. The dash is awesome, all full digital gauges showing 1,908 miles since the restoration. It really is amazing. This right here looks like an old school radio. However, it's got digital guts in it. It's all nicely done. And if you want to upgrade one step further, we could put like an Alpine unit and hide it in the glove box. Here's the heating and air conditioning controls. They were ordered in black because it matches the dash. Didn't want it to stick out too much. Custom seats, custom door panels. Check out these door panels, the detail. There's red stitching in the door panels that matches the cinnamon stripe that's outside and inside here. I don't know if you can see the two-tone paint, but the two-tone paint inside the doors, outside the truck is done all the way around. Stereo speakers are molded into the kick panels down below. Full carpeting. This is all painted and detailed. And this is significantly, I mean, significantly nicer than 1967 interior. And it shows. You could take three people here, quite honestly, if you wanted. We could probably put another seatbelt in here if you had small kids and uh, put uh, three of them in here, so it'd be a four-seater. Can you imagine going to like soccer practice or a hockey game or out to dinner or something with the kids in something like this? It would just be awesome. All right, so we close up this video with a lot of stuff we talked about, right? We talked about 20-inch wheels and tires. We talked about two-tone paint with a cinnamon stripe, right? Underneath the hood is spectacular. Aluminum, uh, Vortec, LS power. Uh, overdrive automatic, air conditioning. We talked about making a couple changes on the truck if we wanted to, like the air cleaner. We maybe get rid of all of that there and make it a little bit smaller so it makes the engine compartment look even better because it's so detailed under there. The custom interior with a custom dash and custom digital sound system, upgraded heat and AC and all those good stuff in there. All new glass, trim, weather stripping, brakes, tires, fuel lines underneath of the truck. It's a brand new truck. It comes with pictures, it comes with receipts, it comes with the way you would want to do it. And if you want to change a couple small things on there, we can do that before we send it to you. Otherwise, we'll leave it just as is and you are gonna love it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this amazing 67 C10 Pro Touring Pickup. And if you would, please don't forget to click the like button down below. Help us uh, get that message out there as well. As subscribe to the channel. I think we have new content coming out all the time. I think you'll love it and share it with some friends. They might like it as well. And I will see you on the test drive. What I love about LS Vortec Power is that it doesn't matter whether it's 105 out or it's 5 out. You hit the button here. This still sounds so good. Listen, when you're driving trucks that are designed to be long distance cruisers and more user friendly, right? Like a pro touring truck like this, they're one handed, right? We have much bigger wheel and tire combination. We're riding on some country roads here that have some winding. I wanted to show it off because the truck handles, right? Why does it handle? Because it has an upgraded suspension. It has bigger wheels and tires. It has bigger brakes. It has fast ratio uh, power steering. It has great brakes that we talked about. I mean, just got all the little things that make for uh, a modern vehicle have been wrapped into this classic, great looking body with a small window back here. I love the turn signals. I could watch the turn signals all day. They're in the mirrors. It's those little touches. Somebody went the extra step, right? The digital dash is so sweet, so sweet. 
The red matches the little pinstripe on the doors and outside the car. And listen to that sound, man. How you doing? Anyway, thanks for driving with us today. Hope you had a good time. This video has been awesome to make, and I'll see you on the next one.